Don't get scared, but that is the reality. That is the team India will be facing next in their World Cup and Asian Cup qualifiers. That is Qatar, the Asian champions, who in their first game versus Afghanistan thumped six goals. Six goals at home. Thank you so much for joining us on 420 Grams as we're building up to India's next game in the Asian and of course Asian Cup and World Cup qualifiers. India taking on Qatar Tuesday, 10 p.m. India time. I'm joined in studio by Siddhant Rani. And we'll also be joined by someone who knows Qatar football and the Qatar football team really well. John Wilkinson. He's a former Singapore international. He's also got an India connect because he played for Salgaukar Football Club in Goa for six to eight months. So we'll get his thoughts on Qatar and everything about who that team. Who has played for Salgaukar, Pandit? So the two Salgaukar players were talking to each other. That'll come a little later on the show. But first up, bhai, just the fact that Qatar, Asian champions, Uske baad Copa America. 1 0 they lost to Colombia. 2 2 they drew with another team. I thought it was Paraguay, I think. Hmm. And 2 0 they lost to Argentina. Hmm. Is this India's biggest game? Keeping in mind the competition, keeping in mind the opposition, and keeping in mind that you're playing away from home, is this India's biggest game in a decade? Yeah, probably. Uh, also, given the fact that we are talking about qualification essentially for the 2023 Asian Cup. Yeah. That's what we're looking at because Qatar being the host of the 2022 World Cup have automatically qualified for that tournament. So what they are playing for as well as pretty much what India are playing for especially after the loss to Oman is qualifying for the Asian Cup. So you're playing the Asian cha champions in your second game, your first game away from home in the qualifying schedule. It most definitely is the biggest game and look at the... Bigger, bigger than the Asian Cup games that we just played right now. Oh yeah, definitely bigger than the Asian Cup game because yeah. at that stage you're already there at the yeah. tournament and there are no expectations, no real sort of, there's no real pressure. Here you're still, I mean, we're at the beginning of the qualifying process. You have 10 match and you have the first match. So the yeah. pressure is a build. Ho and also, the momentum building we talked about in the first four matches, how many points will we get in India? So, if you look at that, I think it keeps a lot importance. A good performance from the team, irrespective of what happens with the result. Because results are at this stage for India still secondary. But a solid performance against Qatar at home will go a long way to setting up the rest of how this uh, qualifying process will go. But easier said than done all of this. I was going to say that. Easier said than done. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Mean, they have bombarded Afghanistan and how mm. in that game. But nonetheless, uh, since we're facing Qatar now, so we've, uh, like I said at the start of the show, we're joined by someone who, of course, has commentated on most of Qatar's games in the AFC Asian Cup, former Singapore international, and of course, who's also played in India with Salgaukar Football Club. I spoke to John Wilkinson a while back. Well, it was it was a strange tournament, I think, for them because I think they surprised themselves a great deal. You know, afterwards, the Asian Cup, they said, oh, we knew we had this type of result in us. I'm not sure if they believe that. I think that was... A lot of these players come from the Aspire Academy. And coming into the tournament, when I was doing my research on them, I thought they, they were just a very talented youth side, really, a very talented academy side. But it seemed like they grew throughout the Asian Cup. It seemed like with every result, with every goal, they just became better and better and better and more confident. And um, they are an incredibly strong side, I have to say that. Yeah, it's not good news for any Indian fans who are watching the show right now, John, because after that, they've gone and played the Copa America, they've played against teams like Colombia, yeah. then they played against Argentina and Lionel Messi. Uh, what can oh, we expect? What, what can we expect as far as an Indian fan is concerned? What is the style of play? Is there a unique style of play with which Qatar operates in a game? Certainly, like with most uh, very good sides, with most strong sides now, they play with a lot of pace. Um, although they have Felix Sanchez in charge of them, who has known a lot of these boys for a long time since they were teenagers, it's not a style of play. It's not a possession-based style of play. They're happy to soak and count them because they have so much pace, um, especially in the wide areas with the likes of Roro, who would play right wing back or right midfield was born in Portugal, they've got players that um, are happy to just nick the ball in their, in their half and on the counter-attack, they will absolutely ruin you. Um, it's going to be a game I think a lot of the Indian players will enjoy playing in because they will have large parts of possession. A word of caution, if they, if they give up that possession quickly, they will get counted on very, very fast. Um, they've really got to look out for the likes of Almoa's Ali up top. But the key man, the star man for them, is um, Akram Asif, 
who's on loan at, I think he's left Al Saad now. He's on loan from Villarreal. He is absolutely awesome. And it's difficult to, um, to mark him because he plays in between the lines and drifts out onto the wing. And um, that's who the Qataris get the ball to very, very quickly. John, I have to ask you, because uh, when we played Oman recently in the first, of course, game of the World Cup qualifier, now Oman was a completely different team. They were happy to sit back. They were happy to move yeah. the ball around very slowly and then someone would make yeah. a run somewhere. Then I saw the Qatar game versus Afghanistan and they were breaking in front in lines of five and six. Five and yeah. six, you know. So, so, does that tell you something about what India has to face? Because India can't, like you said, concentration levels have to be on top for the 90 minutes, right? Well, as you know yourself, I mean, you've played football for a long time at a high level. You're only really going to get results if you have different styles of play to go to. You have your plan A, your plan B. What they like to do is play with this back five. I mean, they will have a back three of Bulem Kuki, um, Bassam al Rawi, who was born in, uh, in Iraq, who I think they're outstanding centre back, by the way. And they will have those two marshalling and bringing Roro back. They will bring Abdul Hatem back at left back. And they will have a back five, very, very solid. What they will do from there on, as soon as they win the ball, Roro on, on the right-hand side will bomb forward and his starting position will be on the halfway line. Um, and then they have Abdul Hatem on uh, left back will bomb and he'll be on the halfway line as well. They're not looking to keep possession. They, they, they really don't care about possession football at all. They really don't care. All they want you to do is come at them so they can get in behind. And we know with the Indian sides, any, if anybody's watched Indian national football over the last decade, you'll see that India are actually trying to play a good brand of football. The fans demand it now. We know that. Um, so they want India to come at them. India has to be very careful. If you're going to attack uh, Qatar, you have to keep possession, but then quicken things up in the final third. John, but, you know, honestly speaking, I know India wants to, you know, improve their style of play, possession-based style of play. But honestly speaking, I know speaking, what you're going to say. Yeah, I, I know. But the thing is, don't, I don't think we're going to be keeping possession because we're also kind of team that loves to break on the counter. You know, get that. You know, get yeah. that ball in, play those three, four quick passes, and move in front. So then, what happens? Because we gave Oman so much space, we gave them so much space. They were doing whatever they want with the ball, and in all likelihood, because we're playing in Doha as well, we're going to be sitting back 10, 10 behind the ball, eleven behind the ball, if need be. Yeah, the difference between India, India wanting to soak and counter and Qatar wanting to soak and counter, Qatar are comfortable um, giving up possession and then just filling in the gaps. I don't think India are, are as comfortable um, filling in the gaps and being comfortable without the ball. You have to be at this level we're playing at now. We're talking about World Cup qualifiers. National, there are no mugs, as we say. There are no fools at international level. You have to be supreme elite athlete to play without the ball. I've spent a lot of my career playing without the ball, and yeah. it's tough, it's horrible. You've got to be humble enough to leave the ball alone and just fill in the gap and do the ugly side of the game. The Qatar players, despite the fact that these are now super and uh, Asian, Asian champions, they're still hungry and humble enough to do the ugly side of the game. If India are prepared to do the ugly side of the game, well, good chance. I, I really believe that. Qatar will give you a chance in front of goal, but my goodness, you've got to take it. And you've got to take, you've got to take everything they give you. Yeah, you just, you just got the words right out of my mouth now, John. But uh, of course, when you're talking about Qatar, everyone's talking about Al Muaz Ali. Uh, yeah. just, just tell us about yeah. what you make of this guy, because uh, we saw glimpses of him at the Asian Cup and he was unstoppable, John. And they're saying there's European interest yeah. now in that player as well? I, I try not to get carried away with what I saw with him in the Asian Cup. I, I still thought he was a little bit raw. You still saw him taking shots from 35 yards on an angle on his left foot when it wasn't really on, off balance. But his movement is fantastic. I still don't think he's the greatest finisher on the continent. I still think there's better finishers um, in our neck of the woods. But his movement is so, so good. He will always get four or five chances. And he gets a couple. We saw him score that hat-trick uh, against Afghanistan recently. And, um, you know, he really is electric. What you will find is he's always in a bit of a shoot-off to try and be the main man with his strike partner, Akram Afif. <laughs> and I'm not sure. I, and they're, what, 
22, 23 years old together. And they're both quite arrogant, which you know you, you have to be. If you're going to yep. play up top, yep. you've got to be quite arrogant. You have to have that about you. I'm not sure they get on too well. Um, and I don't think they link up too well, but, but they're both so, so pacey. If you concentrate on one, the other one will pop up. But um, Almo Azali scores all types of goals. I think by the time he's about 27, he'll be almost a complete striker. Finally, John, uh, what every Indian fan wants to hear. Give us the good news. Uh, Tell us India is uh, going to cause an upset. It. Tell us that, John. Oh, certainly they can. Certainly they can. I mean, it's why we watch the game, right? Well, you watch the game, there is no foregone conclusion. I, I really believe this. You know, India's not playing against... They're not playing against France. They're not playing against Brazil. They're playing against the best of this continent. Which means that um, you can get at Qatar. You can cause them problems. I saw it in the final, Japan against Qatar. If Japan had taken their chances early on, then they would have won that game. The fact of the matter is they didn't take their chances. India have some pace, as you've already you mentioned on the count, they've got Sunil Chetri, Ch who's got so much nous about him. I just want Sunil not to, not to try and do too much. I want him to just stay where he does the damage in the final third. Give him the ball in the final third, they can really take it to Qatar. Look, they've definitely got a chance. I just think that India have really got to ride their luck. All, all the best uh, trying to make Sunil stay in one area of the pitch, John, because I don't think that's happening. <laughs> I know that. I know that. Yeah. I know that. I'm, I was crossing my fingers and toes uh, just then. I, I mean... You know, when you're captain in your country and you're playing for your country, he's going to try and do everything possible to get the result. He's better suited playing in that final third and um, making some magic happen. John, just one final question since we're talking Sunil over here. Uh, his graph, you sure. know, generally when you talk about a normal footballer, that graph post 30 31 starts dipping a bit. But with Sunil, it's completely different. Post 30 31, and now he's of course 34, yeah. that graph just keeps on rising. Fitness levels keep on rising. What's the word on Sunil? Yeah. As far as the Asian continent is concerned, how do they perceive Sunil as a striker and, of course, captain of India? I think a lot of people are undecided on Sunil Chetri in Southeast Asia, at least. I think we've, you know, I, I think he'll go down as, as one of the best in Southern Asia. He, Sunil, I played against Sunil when he was a lot younger and um, he's never had great pace. He's never been, I don't think he's ever been a supreme athlete, so to speak. So as he's gotten older, all he's, all he's done is just not got any slower, not really got any stronger, but just got a lot cleverer. Yeah. I just think he's got a lot smarter. Um, and there's a lot to be said for the type of player that, that Sunil is. And any young, young players out there, and the countries have said, you're not quick enough, you're not strong enough. Um, you know, don't, don't worry about that. Work on your technical ability. And that's what Sunil's done. But I, I still believe... I think I think they're undecided on in this part of um, this part of the world, but you know I I think he's fantastic. He's the type of player you always want to do well. John, thank you so much for your time, and uh, I'm pretty sure. sure we're going to be troubling you over and over again now. Now that we've of course spoken once with you, thank you so much. So, lovely to talk to you. Another Sal Gaukar player. Lovely to talk. Yeah, to you. yeah. go Sal Gaukar. Thank you so much, John. <laughs> John, thank you so much for your time. Of course, uh, shedding light on India's next opponents and the Asian champions, Kathar. Uh, but he said a very nice thing. And I said, listen, you can try as hard as you want. I don't think you're going to rein in Sunil Chetri to just one area of the pitch. Hmm. Though he does make sense. He does make sense because he's saying, you're not going to get too many opportunities versus Qatar. Yeah. And you can't afford to play it like the Oman game where you've created opportunities, but you haven't taken them. He's saying those one or two or three maximum opportunities that you'll get in those 90 minutes, you've got to get at least one or two of them in. Yeah. I mean, I think the wala rule to standard across the board apply karta hai ab. Hmm. Because the way most teams are setting up tactically, technically, to sub same level pe hai, fitness level, sub ke upar ja rahe hai. To aap jab chance create karte hai, aisa nahi hoga ki you'll have 20 shots on goal in a game. Kabhi yeah. nahi wala hai. To jo aapko, especially when you're playing with India, you're trying a new style, you're trying to build, build all of this stuff. Jo aapko chance milte hai, especially counter pe, one on one ya two on one situations, we have to capitalize on those chances. It's pretty much the only chance we're going to get because set pieces are problematic. We yeah. don't have the size and the physicality and to dominate big, in the box. Yeah. They are much bigger. They play physical. Yeah. Right? So, where are the chances to score goals then? Essentially, for us, it's all on those quick counters, which means 
good decision making from the players great good first touches play getting in making that space and then making it count in the box when you get the chance to hmm so you know he did make an interesting point he said hmm. that look qatar is not because i was telling him look the way oman played against india we gave them all the space and time on the field and they were just you know doing their merry go round thing and of course yeah. they got those few chances and they buried them <coughs> yeah he's saying qatar is not going to be that kind of a team they want you to have possession Sure. They want you to come at them, hmm. and then when they take that ball from you, and hmm. you're completely, you know, all over the all place. Over the your place. shape is all over the place. They break with so much speed and precision. In fact, the Afghanistan game, bhai, I was seeing some of the goals. Like when Oman scored versus us, right? There were probably one or two Omani players in the Indian box. When Qatar was scoring versus Afghanistan, there were five players in the box, man. Five players in the box, bro. Insane man, they'll come at you yeah, with yeah. all force, huh? Yeah. The coach himself has said, look, uh, even though we're of course we're guaranteed qualification, but we are not, we are not taking this uh, thing lightly at all, huh? And we are using this to, and you know, we're going to show them the force of Qatar and how we come at them. So I don't think they're going to take it lightly at all. No, no. Why and, would they? I mean, like I, it's I, a I, rare I actually advantage for the team because usually, क्या होता है? आप अगर वर्ल्ड कप होस्ट कर रहे हैं आप ऑटोमेटिकली क्वालिफाई कर रहे हैं तो आपको खेलने को नहीं मिलता है यहाँ पे खेल भी रहे हैं और उसका कोई कम्पेटिटिव एंड भी है बिकॉज एटलीस्ट इनका जो एशियन कप वाला है वो तो क्वालिफाइंग बैग इट इन दर्स्ट शॉर्ट क्वालिफाइंग फॉर दी एशियन कप आई मीन अदरवाइज बी बिट sort of uh, maybe mildly embarrassing for them but what do you make so, of this thing of possession man dude, india keeping so possession india keeping possession will be again so for india i think that will be a different sort of a challenge i don't think they're going to keep because possession. if if i mean how i mean it would be pretty difficult for us to keep possession to be honest i think we're going to put 10 at the back midfield side uh-huh. अगर आप पोजेशन रख भी रहे हैं तो आप वो ही लैटरल बॉल खेलते रहेंगे इन द मिडल ऑफ द पिच या पीछे खेलते रहेंगे रीसेट करते रहेंगे ज्यादा बिकॉज गोइंग फॉरवर्ड यू हैव टू जो आप कह रहे थे पिछले गेम के असेसमेंट में कि हमारी जो सबसे बड़ी दिक्कत है वो मिडफील्ड में है तो अगर मिडफील्ड में दिक्कत है इसका मतलब एक तो क्रिएटिविटी लैकिंग है सबसे पहले तो राइट सो मे बी आई एम श्योर सहेल विल प्ले दिस गेम start on the bench instead of uh, sahel this game hmm. also because and rahul there again is, there is the uh, rahul again because he did play a pretty solid game he, by the okay. overall standards of the midfield the other day hmm. um so what i was saying was with the ball especially going through the middle i mean ek to problem hogi hamare liye because if you see the goals against afghanistan jo inka one two through the middle passing hai काफी डेविस्टेटिंग है यार अगर आपके बीच वाले डिफेंडर दो मिनट सो गए या थोड़ा रिलैक्स कर गए या पढ़ नहीं पाए गेम को तो बहुत बड़ी दिक्कत होने वाली है अगेंस्ट अ टीम लाइक कतर एंड बिकॉज वी हैव दीज बिग सॉर्ट ऑफ स्लाइटली स्लो सेंट्रल डिफेंडर्स हु बेस द एंटायर गेम ऑन शो रीडिंग इट बट द टैकलिंग इज इंट अप टू द मार्क आई थिंक इज गोट क्रिएट अ होल बंच ऑफ प्रॉब्लम फॉर अस and uh, the other thing was like oman i think looked to be also trying to play from the wings these guys from what i've seen they look to play through the middle also as uh, uh, a great deal more so it will be a completely different set of challenges and if we do have possession in the first half let's say we have 40 45% possession really what we do with that 40 45% will be वेरी इंटरेस्टिंग टू सी बिकॉज इट्स फाइन फॉर एवरी वन मैन इट्स फाइन फॉर दी अदर टीम इफ आपके पास अपने हाफ में अगर बॉल है आप वहीं पर खेल रहे हैं आप अपना पोजेशन रख रहे हैं तो उनको कोई फर्क नहीं पड़ता है देल जस्ट सेट एंड वेट फॉर वन लूज बॉल एंड देन जम्प पर भाई वो कोच कोच को भी तो यही पता है ऑफ कोर्स देव डन देर एनालिसिस ऑन द टीम देव डन देर वीडियोज एंड ऑल ऑन द टीम देव ऑल्सो जॉइन सेंग एंड शो द कोच सो ही इज गोट सेट इट अपट टेन एट द बैक गेट रेडी टू ब्रेक दैट काउंटर यू नो Well, that's, that's the only way because if you give them even an inch of space, yeah. like you're saying, not only do they come from the wings, they come from the they, middle yeah, as well, yeah. and they break with five going forward, yeah. six going forward at times. 
you know and you know we we're always talking about the way this team is going forward just yeah. let's not forget the fact that in the entire asian cup they conceded one goal that too in the final versus japan yeah right and john was telling us as well that their defense is top notch they play with three this when they are attacking and then when they're coming back they drop back to a five so five. that tells you about their fitness levels right they are going five in front and they are coming back yeah, five yeah, in the yeah. back as well the the qataris have been planning for the 2022 world cup for a long time yeah. yeah so this invitation that they got to play the copa america which in case you don't follow so much is the continental championship in south america where uh, this time this year two asian teams japan and uh, qatar, qatar both played and they played these tournaments from a view of building their teams hmm. getting the young players uh, game time exposing them to world class sides like brazil argentina colombia all of the south american nations different style of football completely alien conditions all of those things so it's not and it's, it's not the first time i think japan have played uh, the copa before so so you know there's a lot of planning that's going into it nine of these boys were in uh, spain hmm. playing club football getting used to european training methods competition nine out of the core group and uh, felix sanchez has come through the system with the boys so he's extremely sort of intimately uh, he knows the players yeah. he knows the system and it's his system matlab he's developed a system how, with those boys yeah. as they've gone along yeah. under 19 yeah. they won Yeah, yeah. Then of course they've come come on to become Asian champions. Asian champions. And from that under 19 team, I think the core group of about uh, seven eight players were part of the senior team. Hmm. So and, and and I mean on the ground in Qatar at that Aspire Academy, they've established some of the. I don't know if uh, did John speak about all this now. He spoke a little bit about Aspire. Yeah. yeah. No, not so anyway, much. Anyway, so so yeah, at at Aspire Academy where Felix Sanchez was sort of the head of the sp- football program, they've got a world class training facility. Hmm. Yeah. it's uh, football is the number one sport in qatar maybe uh, they show okay they have some athletes and stuff as well but in terms of popular sport mass sport jo log dekhte hain football is the number one sport unka league strong hai regional league strong hai to matlab and they've shown yaar ki 5 saal mein they can become the best team in asia hmm. with with a genuine hope aaj agar aap world football bhi dekhe hain to strikers ki genuine genuine strikers ki i know you're saying ki almoez ali is not the key player he might not be the key player the linchpin but the fact is he's a genuine out and out striker who can finish the ball devastatingly well hmm. you see how he cuts in from the left and puts it into the corner or in general his finishing with both feet is so good and fast man and quick and matlab ye nahi ki oh, goal nahi hua to thoda head down ho gaya hmm. dejected hmm. ho gaye lage rahe the lage rahe the lage rahe the yaar they have a point to prove bhai he is uh, he is one player who is definitely looking at going and playing in europe there is european interest yeah and there will be undoubtedly because he's quick he's got the head it seems on his shoulders he's come through a solid training system and he gets goals to aur aapko kya chahiye plus height wise bhi theek hai it's not like he's a small guy plus anything. i think bhai unke unke desh mein na motivation in the sense ki unke desh mein world cup ho raha hai hmm to unko pata hai yaar humne agar acha pradarshan kiya hmm to hum to set hai zindagi bhar ke liye yeah ha hame wahan ka shake ya jo bhi unke jo No, yeah. no, so, no, that is motivation, yeah. Yeah, yeah. yeah. You, you, and you're now, set for life. Now, for what it's worth, with the politics in the region and the blockade or the economic blockade that's going on of uh, of Qatar, they have even more sort of this chip on their shoulder that okay, we you you make us outcast doesn't matter. We'll still go ahead and do it. Yeah. So that angle of uh, extra motivation because of the political and economic situation uh, in the region. is also i think adding a little bit of extra sort of gung ho to them now if if you're uh, a indian fan don't get uh, so disheartened right now because there is a, a bit of positiveness as well or positive news as well the fact that it's happening in qatar hmm. and i don't know if you saw footage of when the boys arrived at the airport there was hmm. a, you know Support, i think manyapada yeah, yeah, manyapada yeah. supporters were out there and uh, there's a large population from south india kerala in particular yeah, yeah, yeah. in qatar so at least wo support hmm. group to hoga wa some of the best uh, kerala cuisine in <laughs> in the world is in qatar and i mean like a lot of working class people no because they don't have the local population that wants to do the jobs that i mean indian people do so there's a lot of my uh, immigrants uh, essentially working people who live there and and they come out i mean we played the asian cup in qatar in 2011 mm. they were home games for us yeah all those three games 
full stadiums. You were there, na? Yeah, yeah. Hmm. Full stadium. So we played. Uh, of course, we played massive teams. We played. Uh, we played Korea. We played Australia, Australia and we played uh, Bahrain. Bahrain yeah. uh, but especially against in the Bahrain game, where there was a slight chance for a little while, hmm. when Chetri scored, uh, and I think Mangi Chetri and Mangi scored the two goals. I mean, you could tell that almost 90 to 10 the crowd support. So India ke liye to home. के बराबर वाला गेम है नहीं होम के बराबर कहां भाई उनकी भी तो देश के लोग आएंगे वहां पे हां हां आएंगे आई मीन बट मतलब अपने लोग नंबर्स हैं यार नंबर्स होंगे वहां पे हमारे नंबर्स एक चीज में तो हम अच्छे हैं नंबर्स बनाने में हम अच्छे हैं द इंडियन पॉपुलेशन और द साउथ एशियन पॉपुलेशन इज फार हायर देन द लोकल कतारी पॉपुलेशन सो सो द नंबर्स आर देयर इट जस्ट डिपेंड्स हाउ मेनी टिकट्स दे सोल्ड टू द अवे फैंस एंड व्हाट द सीन इज फेयर पॉइंट प्रीटी मच गोइंग टू एंड द शो नाउ जाने से पहले सर बताओ क्या लग रहा है आपको आई आस्क जॉन एंड आई एंड आई पुडम ऑन द स्पॉट आई सेड जॉन लुक ऑल आफ्टर ऑल दिस दैट यू सेड टेल मी विल इंडिया पुल ऑफ एन अपसेट एंड ही लाइक व्हाई नॉट इट्स पॉसिबल इट्स पॉसिबल एनीथिंग इज पॉसिबल एनीथिंग इज पॉसिबल बट नहीं यहां पे एनीथिंग इज पॉसिबल की बात नहीं है ना सर सो इंटरनेशनल फुटबॉल डजंट वर्क लाइक दैट आई एग्री आई एग्री बट समटाइम्स इट डज सो हम तो वही वी कीप saying this but ummeed pe hi kaam hai na nahi ummeed pe kaam hai but <laughs> at the end of the day what you going to be doing in those 90 minutes is some of what's been happening oh, yeah, building absolutely. up to those 90 absolutely. minutes like in so, the months building up to the 90 minutes ek aur angle hai ki ye jo hai na to ab ek coach hai young sa felix ye jo felix sanchez hai hmm. spanish coach dusri taraf ek experienced coach hai in ego team match jo in qatar as well jo ab big name hai wo world cup mein bade player reh chuke hain वर्ल्ड कप में थर्ड प्लेस इनका फिनिश है एंड सिंस ही इज कम इन बिकॉज ऑफ सोशल मीडिया एंड ऑल दिस पी आर स्टफ गाइज लाइक लूका मॉडरेच एंड ऑल सेंडिंग मैसेजेस टू द इंडियन फुटबॉल टीम इस सब की वजह से सडनली लोगों को पता चल गया कि इंडिया वो इंडिया फुटबॉल टीम ओके ओके उस अगेन द नंबर द नंबर्स हेल्प फ्रॉम अ ग्लोबल एंगल सो दिस एंगल ऑफ आई थिंक सैंचेज विल विल टेक इट एज अ पर्सनल थिंग टू गेट वन ओवर टाइम spend the time in the country and come through the system so he that this guy will constantly be on the thing to prove that i am worth it that i deserve this opportunity so so i think it will be an interesting tactical battle also how the for india the key will of I course think as always i think it should be the same bhai apne paas plan b hai nahi kaha hai apne paas plan b देखें भाई मे बी ही पुल्स रैबिट आउट ऑफ इज हैट हू नोज कुछ तो कुछ तो करना पड़ेगा ना अलग तो वही है ना जिनके साथ खेल, खेल रहे हो किंग्स यार बट में ये कॉन्टिनेंटल सही बात है लेकिन गोल खाए जाए लेकिन अगर आप किंग्स कप देखें ठीक है गोल खा रहे हैं यू कांट कंपेयर थाईलैंड टू कतर नो 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 कंपैरिजन ऑफ दोस टीम्स बट आई एम जस्ट कंपेयरिंग इंडियाज परफॉर्मेंस फ्रॉम द लेट्स से यू स्टार्ट द किंग्स कप then you go on to the intercontinental cup वेयर अगेन द कंपटीशन वाज नॉट ऑफ द सेम स्टैंडर्ड एज कतर फॉर श्योर नो वन नियर इट ऑल्सो राइट and you look at the performance against oman on the on the uh, in the last game fifth quarter fifth quarter i think there has been at least in terms of shape in terms of the team understanding what the tactics are that the coach wants to employ and how we are going to play there is a much greater understanding now having made these two mistakes and lost that game in that critical last 10 minutes I think our players also because वो मतलब हमारे जैसे हम ही थोड़ी हैं जो गाली दे रहे हैं उनको जीता हुआ मैच हार गए सभी लोग बोल रहे हैं ना न्यूज पेपर में भी यही आ रहा है सोशल मीडिया पे भी यही चल रहा है एंड एट द एंड ऑफ द डे इफ वी आर सिक ऑफ सेइंग इंडिया गोज डाउन आफ्टर अ ग्रेट फाइट द सेम हेडलाइन जो हम साल सालों से साल भर साल रिपीट करते रहते हैं तो द प्लेयर्स आर आल्सो सिक ऑफ इट यार ये भी सोच रहे हैं कि हम सला आजकल इतना पैसा कमा रहे हैं ये कर रहे हैं वो कर रहे हैं हमारे एक मिलियन फॉलोअर्स हैं इंस्टाग्राम पे कुछ करने का टाइम आ गया है सो द मोटिवेशन आई थिंक अनडाउटेडली इज देयर इज डिफरेंट फॉर बोथ द टीम्स या या एंड डिफरेंट फॉर बोथ द टीम्स एंड छेत्री वुड हैव डेफिनेटली लेट द गाइस हैव इट आफ्टर द लास्ट गेम इन टर्म्स ऑफ जस्ट द स्विचिंग ऑफ दैट हैपेंड व्हेन दोस चेंजेस केम इन Uh, हाँ वो छोड़ uh, छोड़ा नहीं होगा या अगेन अ थिंग विथ स्टीम विल बी हाउ वेल ही मैनेजेस टू सोट ऑफ 
retain the fitness and the sharpness of his team yaar because if his first 11 can play till 85 instead of 65 it will make a massive difference to whatever i got sir wo to of course wo to sabko pata hai uska answer kya hai problem kya hai ki you're not in competition time right now ha nahi ab aapka i sell jab shuru ho jayega and then your games will come of course automatically fitness levels competition levels will go up dekhe uh, mera to ye dar hai ki jab season shuru ho jayega ye aur bhi slow ho jayenge जब मैच डे है तब भी थोड़ा आराम से खेल रहा आपके पास जो बेस्ट प्लेयर्स है कंट्री के राइट जब आप क्लब में जाते हैं वो अपने आप डायल्यूट हो जाता है ऑल दो टू बी फेयर आई एस एल द स्टैंडर्ड ऑफ फॉरन फॉरन प्लेयर्स इज आई वुड से टूडे Um, much notch or two higher than uh, the I indian think? players definitely yeah, yeah, yeah. and the, there are larger number of foreigners so they up the game but then they also then assume those critical roles wo center midfield mein bhi foreigner khelega hmm. striker bhi aapka foreigner khelega stopper bhi inevitably foreigner stopper bhi foreigner khelega so, goalkeeper hai apna number Haan. one to fir agar agar aise hi chalta raha to fir kahan se in log ko chance milega kuch सीखने का या डेवलप करने का बेटर होने का आप कह तो रहे हैं कि 19 साल की उम्र पे बंदा एटीके में साइन कर रहा है या केरला ब्लास्टर्स में साइन कर खेलने रहा है बट खेलने को कहा मिल रहा है ठीक है जाने से पहले सर भविष्यवाणी बताओ क्या क्या आपको मिल रहा है क्या लग रहा है आपको सर मुझे लग रहा है की जिसमे नहीं आ रहा ना ये गेम क्या बात कर टीवी पे नहीं आ रहा सुनने में तो खबर ये आई है ऐसे कैसे हो सकता है सुनने में खबर ये है कि यहाँ पे ऑनलाइन फीड पे देखना पड़ेगा आपको बैठ ऑनलाइन फीड तो है ऑनलाइन फीड तो ऑफकोर्स मिलेगा आपको अच्छा फीफा गेम तो कहीं ना कहीं तो मिल ही जाएगा कहाँ मिलेगा ढूंढ लेंगे खेल रहे हैं दो चार लड़के हमारे आई थिंक गेट गोल गोल बट आई थिंक लूज द गेम आई आई डोंट थिंक इट विल बी लाइक अफगानिस्तान लेवल but if these guys can keep their heads together and keep that shape i think it maybe we'll go down by two goals but but we'll get a goal afghanistan had about 5 6 players who were playing in european leagues huh? yeah but I, they have the same issue man like they, they don't they get don't a chance play to play together yeah. you know so yeah. you can have 10 players playing in europe but they are not playing first division in europe yeah low level they are playing lower level football in europe some of them are pro some of them are amateur players some are so, high level only basically fair enough आप जितने मौके दोगे उतने गोल मारेंगे अगर चांस मिला और चांस कन्वर्ट किया तो फिर आपकी भविष्यवाणी सच हो सकती है ठीक है डन डन गाइस आई होप यू एंजॉय दिस एपिसोड ऑफ 420 ग्राम्स क्विक रिमाइंडर दैट वी विल बी डूइंग अ लाइव ब्लॉग ऑफ दैट गेम ऑन www.newsclick.in स्टार्टिंग एट 9:30 पीएम टुमारो इवनिंग सो इन केस ट्यूसडे इवनिंग या so in case someone watching on sorry, tuesday sorry tuesday evening hmm. tuesday the 10th of september so we yeah, are log into that game if whether you have access to the game online or not Uh, especially if you're streaming it online with perhaps arabic commentary and you don't speak arabic then we can help out with that do do listen in to some of our choicest of words yeah thank you so much for watching goodbye